Hi everybody, this is CR number 15, helper video number five. We are getting into graphing and we're gonna be looking at graphing lines. So you need to understand how to graph coordinates. And the only way of being able to do that is by looking at these X and Y charts. So this is what we wanna do. It says which table shows only points on the graphed line. So I'm gonna start with letter A. Letter A, the first set of coordinates is negative six, negative two. So I always start on my X or on the origin and I always move left and right before up and down. So the X value is telling me to move left six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, because it's negative. And because Y is a negative two, that means I would go down two, one, two. Well, so far so good. That one is right on the line. The next one is negative one, zero. So once again, I start at zero, zero. Negative one is my X coordinate, and because it's negative, it means I move left one. Zero means I don't move up or down. So that means it stays right there. Well, guess what? That point is not on the line. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase these points because I'm gonna try the next table because that one obviously does not work. Let's try letter B. Once again, I start at the origin and it says negative six for my x value. When it says negative six, that means I move to the left six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And because y is a positive three, that means I move up three. One, two, three. Well, hopefully you can see right away that is definitely not on that line, so this table does not work. Let's try letter C. Letter C, once again, I always start on the origin, which is zero, zero. My X coordinate, which is left and right, tells me to move left six because it is negative. One, two, three, four, five, six. My Y coordinate is a positive five, which means I go up five. One, two, three, four, five. Definitely not on that line. See you later, C. That is not working. Let's try D. Once again, I always start on the origin. My first coordinate X, which tells me left or right, is negative. So that means I move to the left six places. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, because my Y coordinate is negative 12, because it's negative, I actually move down 12. Well, as I start moving, one, two, three, four, five, I, I mean, I'm nowhere near that line. So that one cannot even possibly be an answer. So let's finally look at E, because it looks like E is the right answer, but let's make sure those points are on the line. First one says negative six, negative two. Start at zero, zero. Negative six means I move to the left six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Negative two means I move down two. One, two, beautiful point right on that line. I'm gonna make it nice and big so you can see it. Now, once again, I go back to the origin. I move left and right first according to my X coordinate. My X coordinate is negative three, which means I move to the left three. One, two, three. And because my Y coordinate is zero, I do not move up or down. So here it is right on this line. Now I'm going to try three comma four. Now we haven't done positives yet. So I start at zero, zero or the origin once again. Because my X value now is a positive three, it, moves, it means I move to the right three. One, two, three. Now my Y is a positive four. And because it's positive, I move up four. One, two, three, four. And guess what? That also sits right on that line. So E is my answer. Good luck with that.